Now, in order, let's say, let's say that I type up a big fat lie and I put it in a Word document and I send it to you, okay? Well, what that means is that if, you, if you're going to understand what I said and believe my lie, everything is working properly except the highest layer, which is intent. Mm -hmm. right. right? Right. And so, and so conscious beings have this top down where we decide what to do. We decide whether to do good. We decide whether to do evil. And evil resides as a parasite on all the other good things. Mm -hmm. If the computers don't work, if Microsoft Word doesn't work, if we don't have a language that we share, I can't lie to you. Mm -hmm. Okay? So evil, evil requires all these other things. All yeah. these other things. But yeah. evil is top down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so inside the world, we have all these conscious beings top down who make moral choices. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, evil. Is, is the willful corruption of information, and evil is the antithesis of God. So good is when there's agreement between idea, expression of idea, and understanding of an idea. Evil is when, evil is when there is a corruption, a willful corruption of the truth to communicate a false idea and for a false idea to be understood, which causes a shattering of a relationship. It, and you're using the word corruption, uh, but we're not talking about necessarily no, it's not, noise. We're talking about a misappropriation. Right. In a sense, right? Right. Okay. Be because because you could, willful. We, we, could, we could have a phone call, and if there's static on the, the line, the static does not make me lie. Right, it's not evil. You might not be able to hear what happens in the. In and this. I might misunderstand you for and with a bad result, but that's not evil. Right, that's not evil. Right. Why do you know first degree murder versus third degree murder? Is what is that about? It's about will. Mm -hmm. It's about the highest level. Was it murder at some low accidental level? Like I backed my car up and I accidentally hit a kid and, mm. you know, involuntary vehicle manslaughter? Mm -hmm. Or was it intentional, willful, mm -hmm. premeditated? We make this huge distinction because it's completely different. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so, and so the existence of evil highlights the characteristics of God because it is a parasitic element in the created order. Mm -hmm. And I think this also, if, if you understand that communication is top down, not bottom up, I don't know how you can come to the conclusion that any other than free will really does exist. Mm -hmm. People really do have choices to make. It's not like it's deterministically programmed in the environment that we have consciousness and that we have the ability to make real choices. And so the world is full of conscious, willful beings who are either deciding to honor the communication design or to dishonor it. Mm -hmm. So you're saying I can't assume I'm, I can't come to the conclusion I'm predestined if I really understand this top-down nature to communication. Well, is that what you're saying? Well, I. I see the predestin and I don't want to get off in a big thing, but I see the predestination free will thing as not an either or. To me, I see it, it's like um, light is a particle and it's a wave. Yeah. There's predestination, but there's also free will. People are legitimately responsible for what they do. That, that, that our free will is not just an illusion. Yeah, right. Okay. So I think information theory has something to say about the philosophical question of determinism.